Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, EQA Nostalgia here, and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the EverQuest franchise and just some of the things that have been happening lately that I find rather annoying. As many of you are probably already aware, SOE has dubbed 2014 the year of EverQuest. And the reason for that is EverQuest just turned 15 years old. So they've been celebrating, and that is understandable, but it seems like they may be paying some people to talk about EverQuest. Now, I don't want to say for a fact that that's something they're doing, but I've heard through a few different people that they are, and it does seem like they are, because there's a lot of big-name YouTubers that are talking about EverQuest right now, and they never gave two shits about it in the past. So it's kind of annoying when someone like myself bases his entire channel pretty much on EverQuest, and... EQOA and the entire franchise and then you start to see people who never talked about it and all of a sudden they're talking about it and they're getting tons of views because they've already got like 2 million subscribers and they didn't build their channel around EverQuest so their subscribers for the most part I've been reading their comments don't really give a shit and a lot of them are actually trashing on EverQuest you know why are you covering this we don't care when are you going to do the Titanfall review and, and I've seen a lot of shit like that so, it's just, they're kind of like a fish out of water, and it's really, it's just really obvious. You you can tell that they don't know anything about EverQuest, but it's just kind of like the thing to do right now. Now, I'm not positive, like I said, I'm not positive these guys are getting paid, but it's kind of like the bandwagon thing to do right now, and I've noticed it across several really, really big channels, and yeah, I don't know, it just kind of annoys me, man. And I was sitting there, I was thinking about it, and I was thinking, hey, man, you shouldn't get upset about it, because they have every right in the world to cover it. But at the same time, it just doesn't feel genuine, you know? It feels like it's just something that they're doing because it's either the thing to do, or Sony's paying them to <laughs> raise the awareness. Which, you know, I can't blame Sony for that, because that's advertising, pretty much. YouTube is big right now. It's bigger than TV. If you want to get to gamers, you got to go through YouTube, or you're just not going to reach gamers. You can't, you know, you can't advertise on TV for games. And I've seen a lot of people say that. How come you guys don't have a commercial on TV? A lot of gamers really don't watch TV, man. They're on YouTube. The younger generation and the gamer generation, they spend a lot of time on YouTube. So I can totally understand if that's something that Sony's doing. But nevertheless, it does annoy me when I see someone who's normally talking about, you know, the hottest AAA titles and the stuff that only the masses care about, and now all of a sudden they're they're diving into EverQuest territory, essentially my territory, and they're talking like they know what the hell's going on. But yeah, I mean, it seems to be the flavor of the month. Now, I can't sit here and say I've never gone outside of EverQuest. I mean, the main thing that I cover is EverQuest Online Adventures in H-Hour, and, you know, I like to cover indie titles and stuff like that. But every now and then I will talk about a game that's big, like Plants vs. Zombies, uh, Garden Warfare, but that's because I really enjoy that game. I never talk about a game if I don't like it. I don't just say, well, oh, the masses are going to want to see this, and it's going to get me a lot of views and subscribers, so I'm going to talk about it. I can't do that. If I'm not being genuine, I get bored to fucking tears, man. But I guess in the end, what it really boils down to is that if you're not genuine about what you're talking about, people who are into what you're talking about are going to notice it, and you're going to stick out like a sore thumb. I realize that I sound bitter right now, and you know what? I am bitter. <laughs> I am bitter. I wish I had that many subs, but I made a decision a long time ago. You're either going to go for what the kids are into and try to grow your channel as large as possible, or you're going to stay genuine to the stuff that you really care about and see where it goes from there. And I decided to take the latter path. So if you're thinking I'm bitter, just please try to understand my position when you cover something that you know is niche and there's not a lot of people that are doing it. And then all of a sudden, here comes Mr. 5 million subs and he wants to talk about EverQuest. But yeah, now that I've probably shot myself in the foot and pissed off a lot of people that I shouldn't have... I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. Hey, I got to speak my mind, man. You know, I got to I got to be real. So, I thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.